So hi guys, I hope you guys are doing well and you guys are doing fine. My name is Nantsigele Lungumalo. I'm a proudly South African. Also, I'm a proudly Finnish. I live in Finland for the last 12 years. I'm a permanent resident in Finland and I'm excited. It's an amazing thing. Um, yeah, and yeah, I, I am a content creator. I am a professional European chef. Honey, I went to school for it. Uh, if you are watching me on Instagram, you are watching me on, on, on YouTube, uh, most of those platforms, they kind of like ask me if I have my OnlyFans. I do not have my OnlyFans and I'm not planning to have my OnlyFans. I do understand that I teach mostly more than cooking about the bedroom. But honey, I am just a chef. Now, I want to say happy, happy Women's Month to all the women out there, to all the women that are watching. Even if it's not a woman, a woman's day on your side, it's going to be a Women's Month in a lot of us. Um, did I say happy, happy Women's Day or happy Women's Month? Oh my God, because I'm a bit nervous of doing this video, but I wanted to do it. So today is the 9th of August, 2024, and I'm saying to you, happy, happy Women's Day. And with that said, I want to just share something with you guys and some of you guys to know me a little bit more better. When I grew up, I grew up with friends that were more lighter skin um and i was more darker so i was bullied a lot about my skin color that i was uh, ugly because i was too black um and also when i was was when i was growing up people would say oh my god um uh, beyonce is the most beautiful person you know and I, I i remember that i used to dance on beyonce's music i i i, I used to watch beyonce and, and and think to myself you know um how can i be like beyonce and I want to tell you all those and the bullying that I got from my friends and from school because I was too dark. By the way, I'm a South African and most of our South Africans are a little bit brown and honey. Right now, as you see, my skin color is because I'm in Finland and there is not much sun. So my skin is a little bit more, uh, more, a little bit lighter. Um, and when I was growing up, I did feel like I was ugly too, you know, and I want to tell you, if you are younger and you're going to see this video and if you are older and you feel like you have big eyes, you have big nose, you have big mouth, honey, you know, the more I was growing up, the more I wanted to be non the more I wanted to look up to the girl that was in the mirror. And the more I was growing up, the more I was like, why people are saying Beyonce is the most beautiful person in the world when they haven't met me? Like, honey, have you seen me? Every time I hear that there is the most beautiful woman in the genus record, I'm like, have they met me? Okay, this woman is beautiful. Beyonce is beautiful. But have they seen me, baby? You know, when I was growing up in school, they used to say that I have this. This was too much. Now when I smile and I look at this, I'm like, actually, this is what makes me special. You know, we call it ikromo. You know, they're like, you have boobs on your face. I'm like, this is what makes me special. This is what makes me stand out. That I need, I don't need to put a blusher here. You understand? When I smile, you can see it. You understand me? So if you have big eyes, you have people trolling you for your nose. You have people saying this and that about you. Let me tell you, my sweetie pine, that what makes you special. You understand me? Let me talk about the cleavage. As an adult right now, it's like when your boobs are hanging like this, when they are like this, no, um, there's something wrong. People are watching you on the street like, why didn't she wear a bra? Let a person who have done their boobs or people who have a standing boobs, naturally, it's like it's a beautiful thing. Don't let people set standard of beauty to you. This is just a woman to woman on a woman's month, on a woman's day. You're beautiful the way you are, honey. You understand? Today I was saying, even if you wear a, a trash, you wear a plastic, you're still beautiful. When you walk in the room, you need to walk in a room and everyone feels that you walked in a room. The moment you see beauty in the mirror, you're also going to see the world in a different way. You see on social media, you find people that will come and say, hey, but you are ugly, but your tattoos are too much and this and this. You can't see beauty when you don't, you can't see beauty outside when you don't see beauty within you, with you. And my mother always say, when you are hurt, you will hurt other people. So you need to heal so that you can be happy with other people and allow happiness. So my sweetie pants, let me tell you, there's no standard of beauty. There's no standard. There is no summer body and uh, there is no winter body. There is your body that you're going to rock anytime. You're going to wake up and look at yourself and say, you know what? This is amazing. I do encourage you to go to the gym as a woman mentally. It's going to make you feel so good. It's going to help you mentally. You have to exercise and do all those things. But some people, they are the way that they are. Even if they are exercising, you still have that shape. It is your shape. 
embrace it imagine dying trying to have find a, a a summer body imagine in in two years time you're not finding a six pack but you are fighting for six pack instead of just living exercise and just leave so my sweetie pines let me tell you the most important thing the most valuable thing as a woman is your confidence if you are confident enough you will understand that loving yourself is the most important thing when you love yourself you want to have your own money you want to work for yourself you understand you want to try for yourself as they say if you allow a man to feed you he can also starve you anytime you understand me if you are in a relationship, my sweetie pine, relationship needs to have a balance. Not the man that is an ATM. You are not with the man because the man needs to feed you. No, sweetie. He have to feed you because it is the balance of the relationship. But anytime, anyhow, you can look after yourself. You afford yourself. Now, let's talk about what I usually give you guys. The bedroom. When you don't have confidence with your body... You can never, ever be that queen in the bedroom. So loving you, watching yourself in the mirror when you are naked and accepting stretch marks like myself, accepting that your proportions can never be like other people's proportions, that you are you. You understand me? Will make you feel so good about yourself. Now, you're beautiful. You understand me? You're beautiful. You are wanted. You understand me? You don't settle for less. You understand me? But also, you are very respectful towards people in your relationship, towards a man. Because it doesn't matter that you're beautiful. It doesn't matter how much you have. When you are not respectful, especially to a man in a relationship, it's get harder. I'm not saying that you can keep him, but most of us, we do so well in life and then we become so disrespectful to men because we say, I know my weight, I know my weight. Sweetheart, you need to sit with yourself sometimes down and understand, life is not about the beauty contest. It's all about my English right now. Don't leave me. Hey, cha! Let's just leave English. Life, honey, is about confidence. Okay? Have you been in school and see a girl that is the biggest girl? You know, a girl that she look, do you look at her and be like, well, she is that girl. You understand? But then you are thinking to yourself, maybe she's not the girl that she thinks she is, but she is that girl. But her confidence, everyone in the school, sometimes she even becomes a bully because she's over. She, 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 she got confidence. So don't allow people, don't be a bully. Don't allow people to walk on top of you and to tell you otherwise. Okay? Now, before I close, I am so proud of all the queens out there that knows that they are beautiful. I am so proud of all the queens and continue that, that are working on themselves. I am so proud of every woman out there that have their own things. You have your own car. And let me tell you something, continue my life like that because you are so important. And do not forget to be very, very selfish with yourself. When you have, if you are a breadwinner, you are the one who provides the family with finances. First, starts with your own finances. Never, ever, ever have debts while you are looking at after other people first make sure that you look after you you pay for your things and then you can pay for family members you can give family members after yourself be selfish with yourself you see you're in a relationship is not working for you you go you can't go to a therapy for a man for another person someone's son 32 he got 32 teeth he got id but you are there he's doing things to you you are sitting be selfish with yourself you understand me now let me love and leave you i hope you're gonna have an amazing day a fantastic day you're gonna be queening the whole month the whole year the whole years while i'm also gonna be queening Dalenge. Dalenge. bye don't forget to like and follow me